Hey friends, welcome to the part 30. We are looking at real certification questions on security speciality. Now, this is the handle, YouTube handle of this channel where you can go and search for shorts, playlist videos. There are 500 plus videos. So many people have gained from passing like the certifications using the content on this channel. So please do not lose out on this opportunity. If you get an opportunity, please subscribe to this channel and click the join button. There is a link in the description. You can join and become a Cloud Kernel member and gain access to so many important questions. Let us look at this question now. See, the story is simple. A DDoS attack happened. What is a DDoS attack? So DDoS attacks, primarily, it is a primary concern in the internet security today. We need to explore attack functions and how they can be stopped. That is for sure. So the attempt is to stop the normal traffic. There is a website. They will try to stop the normal traffic so that your business goes down. How will the business goes down? If you are Amazon.com and the website is down for five hours, the five hours, there can be so many trades, so many transactions, you will lose it. So there was a significant downtime during the attack period. Now, what do you want? If what you want is in future, whenever it happens, the downtime should be minimized. Like if there was a one day of downtime, you should minimize it to one hour, two hour and so on in future. Now you have been bought in. What will you suggest? We want to choose two options. First is use guard duty. Guard duty is the first thing. Whenever you see DDoS, the first thing you should remember is Shield, Shield and Shield Advanced. These services have been designed for DDoS production and you see here denial of service production and so on. Okay. So close your eyes. Wherever you see Shield or Shield Advanced, mark it correct. So if Shield is the answer, Guard duty cannot be an answer. So A is wrong. Why? Guard duty is like your security guard. It Knowing the people, looking at the people, they will try to say if there is a threat or not. So, for example, it can continuously monitor your instances, databases for threats. Whenever you want to protect web applications, you should use WAV. This will protect the web application. The question in our scenario says it is a web application. So, you can use a rule here. So, this rule E, option E, this will help you with this rule. Okay. What option E suggests is you create a rule to respond to such attacks. There are two things. First is we used shield and in the event of attack. Okay. Second thing is now how to respond to such attacks. So you have to indicate both the problems. So these two are my answers. So if you talk about option D, uh, you monitor cloud trails and you use system manager. This is a reactive solution, not a proactive solution. C talks about it. They will monitor the network traffic and they will use Lambda function. See Lambda function in terms of security, we never try to use a Lambda function to automatically block attacker's IP. Lambda, you can use for a bit of a data massaging and so on. It is a serverless function. It takes, it can only last for 15 minutes and so on. But in a security solution, we never use it. So these two would be my final answers. We will lock these. Now let us look at the next question. See, you have, I'll cut the story short. You have EC2 instance. It is in private subnet. You want to talk to the internet both the ways to and fro to and fro but it is it should not be exposed to the internet first option says we will use nat instance the c option says we will use nat get the problem with both nat instance is that they can talk one way that is from inside to the internet from private subnet to the internet they can talk but internet people cannot talk to them so what in the question told me that internet see accessible internet endpoint to receive updates that's one second is that uh you see this, it is trying to receive updates. Receive updates means it is trying to see. So that means it needs ingress, ingress. It, it does not need, it needs something from internet to, to private VPC. See, B is wrong because it is telling you remove the internet gateway. First of all, I don't have an internet gateway. And if I replace with a private link, I will not be able to talk to and fro. So D is my final answer. What it says is we will use the internet gateway. Why is internet gateway used? If you see, so you read this paragraph here, it can do both the ways communication resources on the internet and initiate a connection to a subnet. So this both way communication is possible. But if you talk about NAT gateway, it prevents receiving intern, uh, in traffic. So this is about NAT instance, same as NAT gateway also. So we saw internet gateway will allow us both ways communication. That is what we are looking for here. We want to receive updates. So this is something option D will allow and we will update the custom table to the route to the new gateway. So option D would be my final answer. We will lock this. Now let us jump into the next question. 
in a nutshell what you want is there is vpc flow logs the log should have so many different fields to be reported you want to choose two answers a says that you edit the existing vpc flow logs and just uh, you know by default if you do it will have uh, amazon default format but you want to change it to become a custom format so if you see this portion this one i am highlighting it you see if you see this it clearly says you cannot customize or change the default format what that means a is wrong and b is correct because a you cannot edit it the b saw in the documentation so you have only one option you will have to delete it and recreate the vpc logs and then you have to make sure that you are making um, you know change the log format from amazon default to custom format the other thing is you need to ensure that original source and destination ip addresses are put in that means this will give you the source address and this will give you the destination ad address so this is the second one so we have our two answers so if you see this documentation it clearly says that uh, the pkt tsdr displays the final destination ip address that means this destination ip address that is required here this is one thing which will display so this is my final answer now if you see option c so this question is talking about vpc flow logs and not cloudwatch logs cloudwatch logs is a different utility why do we use cloudwatch logs is because we want to centralize the logging of different applications for example ec2 instances they can send their logs centrally to cloudwatch cloudwatch and e is wrong because we are talking about original source and destination ip address this is subnet id and instance id so this is not what we want here so friends these two are my final answers we should lock this now if you have not yet subscribed i'm not sure what are you waiting for please do so there are 500 plus videos specially dedicated to help you clear certifications around cloud primarily aws azure google cloud snowflake and recently we have also put some tableau desktop certification contents this is the youtube handle of this channel you can look for shorts you can look for playlists and videos stay tuned this brings us to the end of part 30 please note that it is very important to focus on the concepts do not try to mug the answers i hope the concepts are clear you can click the join button below this video or you can use the link in the description and become a cloud kernel member that will give you access to more important questions stay tuned stay focused so we will see you in the next part